time will arise when another new, dangerous, fatal weapon is invented that will disintegrate the bones of life forms. Simultaneously, the artificial sun created about 50 years prior will drift from its orbit and over a mere 72 hour period will plunge to Earth. The Earth's own rotation and orbit around the sun will change then and result in the reduction in the length of years, days and nights. Unfortunately, this will also be the time when the first space conflict, a space war, takes place between terrestrials and those humans who will have migrated to Mars by then. The gigantic space station in orbit behind the sun will be damaged. At this time a new terrestrial chronology will be contemplated because the altered lengths of the days and seasons on Earth cannot be utilized in the old system. Terrestrial humanity already under the spell of religions and religious sects at this time, will remain spellbound for several more centuries. Following the installation of the new terrestrial chronology, the founder of a new religion will come to the forefront and revoke the Christian Sunday. Islamic Friday and Jewish Sabbath, in order to establish a new holiday schedule. As an experiment, money will be briefly abolished, but clandestine trading with valuable goods such as precious metals, diamonds and other commodities will continue. Some time later the insane tourist trials wretchedly will alter the Earth's atmosphere in a dreadful format. And another war on Earth will ensue, the terrorist trials will have failed in their attempt to become more peace-loving and intelligent. The future will hold nothing positive pertaining to scientists because they will have begun to perform their first genetic manipulations on humans and animals by this time, and will be creating entities, so-called semi-humans, whom they will produce by crossing humans with pigs and then train them as fighting machines. These entities will be sent into a war and also perform a variety of tasks in space. However, this situation will not go well very long. The entities will oppose their creators, like it is also the case with robotic humans who will have arms and legs amputated so that their nervous system can be attached to minute electronic biologic devices, whereby these semi-humans become living navigational devices for spaceships and every type of weaponry, machinery and terrestrial vehicles, to name but a few. A man will appear and present the universal teachings to the entire terrestrial human population. He will be remarkably successful, although existing religions and religious sects will follow up with global countermeasures, as has been the case since ancient times. The teachings of the Spirit will be included in these teachings, and some 30 years later the teachings of reincarnation will have been disseminated worldwide and accepted by the existing religions. However, prior to this event some unpleasant encounters with extraterrestrial trials will take place that may result in a gratifying union depending upon which direction man takes, taking the wrong direction will result in disagreeable, possibly even dangerous prospects. Through technological intervention, man will slowly learn to prevent natural catastrophes. Volcanoes, in particular, will be placated and their activity controlled, as will be the influences of weather conditions. Triggered by the invention or, rather, discovery of a new and very valuable energy source and its rights to ownership, renewed war activities on Earth will ensue. Problems will also occur within human populations because their relative immortality, that is, the increase in human longevity, will amount to life spans of from 350 to 450 years. This increase in longevity will also precipitate increasingly greater problems of overpopulation and all other subsequent obstacles, which will include migrations that will result in new types of interbred peoples. Among them will be a group who call themselves Eurasians. They will demand the Eurasian region for their homeland at a time when the semi-humans, those human-animal, genetically manipulated creatures and the robot-humans will be creating incredible problems. These difficulties will lead to the deplorable decline of every space travel program and nearly bring space travel to a complete standstill. The problem will come about because of the robot-humans and semi-humans refusal to continue working for normal human beings, and because of their unwillingness to continue a life of subservience and exploitation as living maneuvering devices for spaceships, 
vehicles, equipment, war machines and so other gadgetry. These events will transpire at a time when a climatic reversal begins on Earth because of the Sun's noticeably weakening activity triggered by reduced nuclear fusions within it. Terrestrial man's urge to explore knows no bounds and, consequently, he will penetrate ever deeper into space, unfortunately, this tendency will also produce repercussions. Inevitably, unexpected disasters will occur, for the prediction states that in the not too distant future, terrestrial man will face some extremely terrifying phenomenon during his space expeditions that will present great and trying obstacles. One event, supposedly 20 years later, will take place as the frightening and definite conclusion is reached that the sun is truly a dying star. And an additional 35 years later, terrestrial human beings will face a new horror when one of their exploration spaceships brings a deadly epidemic back to Earth that will leave medical scientists completely helpless. By this time, man will have gained knowledge about the essence of creation for 35 years, likewise the truth will be understood that negatives and positives represent within themselves equal, independent units although they also form a perfect unit when joined. The previously mentioned space exploration craft will lift off shortly after this cognizance, whereupon it will encounter the great horrors. Equipped with a completely new propulsion system, the expedition spacecraft is expected to penetrate space to the extent that it will reach the original home planets of the first genetically manipulated peoples. Such an undertaking will still be completely irresponsible on the part of the tourist trials from that period. On one hand, they will have remained trapped in their genetically manipulated degeneration and, on the other, in their megalomania they will vastly fail to underestimate the dangers of space and alien worlds. They will become aware of their failings only midway along their path toward the home planets of the genetically manipulated people's origins, when the expedition will be confronted by terrifying extraterrestrial life. Ultimately, this space expedition becomes feasible only when the technological apparatuses, machinery, all electronic instruments and many other items from that period are no longer operated and piloted by human beings. The technological devices will become equipped instead with independent, biological intelligence that makes all piloting and operations almost infallible. The robot humans still performing those functions at that time will rebel against this change of events. Simultaneously, terrestrial space travel will reach the pinnacle of its development as research forges on, and soon further deductions and solutions will unlock additional secrets of matter. Concurrent with this development will begin the rule by the robot people under the leadership of someone from their own ranks, who will be the enemy of all other human life forms and cause a great stir, although he will die very soon after these events. During this same period, once again, the megalomanic scientists will perform an incredible spectacle by producing a gigantic second sun. Although this group of scientists will be small in number, nonetheless, through a dangerous experiment they will ignite one of the Sol planets, which will burn for seven days and glisten in the Sol system as a second sun before it burns out and fades. Jupiter and Saturn could be equally suitable candidates for this experiment as they are uncompleted miniature suns, making redundant the selection of planets for this future insanity. Great progress in brain research will occur in the same period, including the implantation of micromodules into human and animal scalps. The micromodules will assume and execute all the brain's navigational functions. At this time, far from Earth, an artificial world within another alien solar system will be populated by an immense migration surge that stems from the continued, irrational increases in terrestrial overpopulation. The robot people, simultaneously, will become a danger to normal human beings through their own propagation and the siring of many descendants. Due to genetic alterations these descendants will be born without arms and legs, with their nerve endings already exposed. This will permit easy access to the nerve endings of their extremities, 
which can then be attached without surgery to various devices and machinery, etc. The robot people will become a true menace to normal humans, for they will possess unforeseen consciousness-related powers. Over time, they will further develop these powers by way of an above-normal application of their consciousness whereby the brain, through unique, painstakingly constructed energy generators, will be endowed with special energies from the outside. All of this will allow the forces of the consciousness to perform at record levels. The time will come when further powerful changes take place within the soul system as the sun's nuclear fusions decrease. Indeed, the entire gravity field will not only become unmanageable and changed, but large-scale climatic changes will become the daily norm. These occurrences will inspire scientists to record performances because they will wish to find methods to counteract the sun's negative consequences. These consequences will manifest themselves far sooner than anticipated in fact, and contradict millennia-old, erroneous scientific assumptions. Only then will people correctly realize that the sun is a dying celestial body and that subsequently, the end of the soul system will herewith be predetermined already. Nonetheless, the sun will continue to exist another billion years, but by then it will be a dead star that will, ultimately, be swallowed up and destroyed by a black hole. Therefore, scientists will begin performing at feverish rates. In the process they will discover that the base for pi was miscalculated. By eliminating the error in pi, and correcting future computations based on pi, scientists and their amazing, highly developed technology will have the capability to make unimaginable energies accessible to the people of Earth. This will be accomplished through the terrestrials diversion and utilization of energies from black holes from within the Milky Way system. Scientists at this time, though, will still be unable to travel to the center of our galaxy to tap the existing black hole in that region. Still, it will be unnecessary to go to the center of our galaxy, at least at that particular time, for nearby objects will produce sufficient energy to serve Earth's needs. This new energy source, in fact, the energy type itself, will enable tourist trials to develop new forms of space travel. In the wake and expansion of these developments, a travel and transportation factor becomes reality which, prior to 1995 and long into the future, had been called fantasy time travel. This discovery slash invention, in turn, will enable man to travel into both the past and the future, and as well into the vastness of the universe, something that was hitherto impossible. In the aftermath of these events new human life forms will be discovered, without doubt, and humans of Earth will learn unfathomable information from these extraterrestrial trials for these ets will possess remarkably greater intelligence than the terrestrials. trials. Developments in every field will progress rapidly and result in the creation of artificial, biological intelligences that will be utilized for the guidance and handling of all apparatuses, devices, electronics, machinery including flying craft and vehicles. By this time there will be no concern of these biological intelligences becoming independent to later endanger terrorist trials as it will be the case with the robot people, who will no longer be of any use and be exterminated without further ado. The time will then come when all space stations and satellites orbiting the Earth, Mars and Venus will crash. This will be the result of the sun's ever-decreasing activity having changed to such an extent that monumental gravitational changes of all planets will occur, even to the sun itself. Scientists will be working at record levels to find solutions for the changes, but they will be unsuccessful. Yet, they will have success in as much as they will discover an incredibly important factor in the creational formula. Thereafter another danger from space will threaten the terrestrial world, this time from the depths of the central universe. The danger from this threat will become evident only much later, however. Prior to this event, terrestrial humans will place artificial suns into orbit around the Earth, albeit far beyond the customary distance. Terrestrials trials will not have much luck with these satellites either for one of the artificial suns will begin to glow due to severe damage and scorch large regions on Earth. 
In turn, the aftermath of these events will dangerously affect Earth's atmosphere and produce an oxygen deficiency that precipitates worldwide riots. From this catastrophe another will evolve because the scorched